Hi everyone, welcome back for another opening. So today we are taking a break from White Sauce and going back to Rebirth for you with their newest set. This is Shangri-La Frontier. Well, this is not a series I have watched yet, but definitely it is on my backlog. Uh, I do uh, find the plot very intriguing and for someone who enjoys sword art online, I thought that hmm, this sounds like a very interesting series indeed. So I'm just going to read off the synopsis for this series for those of you who are also not familiar. So the story is set in the near future where games that use old-fashioned display skins screens are classified as retro games while full dive VR games have become commonplace. As a result of these games becoming mainstream, there exist so many trash games rush full of glitches, 40 games and the system of which have not kept up with the improved visual technology. So the main character Rakuro Hizutome is a trash game hunter, a great admirer of these usually shameful games which he plays with the nickname San Raku until he is able to master them regardless of their difficulty due to the glitches. Rakuro has cleared the oversized Feria Chronicle Online trash game and is suffering some sort of burnout syndrome. So at the suggestion of the owner of his favorite game store, uh, Rock Row, he buys the best-selling and excellent Shangri-La Frontier, a full dive VR game with 30 million registered players. He enters the world of Shangri-La Frontier as the player Shanraku, where all the skills he has attained as an expert trash game hunter will come in handy as he progresses in the game. So I wasted too much time with that synopsis, so very excited. Let's look at the rarity breakdown. Oh, there's only three premium parallel this time. Uh, but there's a lot of new interesting rarity. We have a SFR, a GRE, triple rare, double rares as usual. So yeah, uh, quite interested to see how the artwork looks like. Like I said, uh, after reading about the plot of this series, I am quite uh, interested. So I definitely want to watch this series. Uh, but in the meantime, let's see how the art holds up. And whether, you know, sometimes there are series that I have not uh, watched, but because of the artwork, I became like, oh, that has to be the next series to watch. So this time around, there is box topper promo in the form of partner cards. So yeah, I'm not sure if there is four variants for those partner cards, but yeah, definitely uh, will be interesting to see how things look. So anyway, I only have two boxes today. I also have the trial deck ordered, but it is still on the way to me. It's shipping. I just happen to get the booster box first. So let's see. Triple rare. Okay, hang on a second. Is there even SP for this set? Yes, there is 5 SP and 10 MBPs. Okay, so there are assigned cards apparently. Although it's not as big as uh, some of the regular sets, so I'm not quite sure how the ratio is going to work out here. Uh, yep, we do have our parallel foils. So this is only a C+, plus, our rebirth card. But I can guess the ratio normally for rebirth for you is not really very high. Uh, I believe usually it is like 3 SP per case, so probably like 1 out of 10 boxes for an SP. Unless uh, things have changed. So yeah, probably that's the rates we are looking at the SP. So even being able to pull an NBP to me, that's really good enough. Uh, so far, nothing really seems to stand out uh, really much in terms of the art. I mean, the character design does look very interesting. Oh! Speaking of NBP, we put one. Look at the texture. There's this circular thing going on. And like I said, <laughs> I find that the uh, character design is very interesting. Like, how does this bunny fit in? I mean, when I read the plot, I was expecting something more like sort out online, but this completely uh, changes everything. And looking at the you know the title the banner art right doesn't really give away much too much detail so I can't really tell too much from that. Uh, but yeah, looking at some of these cards, make me thinking: is this eager guy our main character or something? Is the bunny the main character? Well, I guess this will be the next series I would want to look out for. Okay, a double rare plus that's nice. So yeah, maybe when I'm done with the current show I'm watching, I would try to catch Shangri-La Frontier next. Then I can let you guys know if, let's say, this is a series that's worth watching. Double rare. Ah, plus. Okay. That's nice. I do like to keep my uh, parallel R and above rarities aside. Okay, last pack. So, seems like it is two triple rare per box. 
a handful of double rares, but yeah. At least we did get an MVP. So let me see what do we get for our second box topper. So we do get a partner card. I don't think those comes in foil since the foil should be our MVP. So yep, just a basic uh, partner card. So if you want the foil partner cards, you have to hope that you get an MVP. <laughs> or even better yet, you can get a premium parallel. Like for those of you who have been watching the channel for a while, you have known that I have been trying to hunt so hard for that premium parallel. Especially for sets that I'm really invested in, like Azalin. Unfortunately, didn't have that luck myself. I am still waiting for that one day that I can pull a premium parallel. But uh, for those of you who don't know, a premium parallel is like one in a master case. So that's like one out of 90 boxes. So you can see why it is so rare to pull a premium parallel. So uh, a premium parallel is essentially that like four partner cards, but it comes with the voice actor signature on it. So definitely a very nice looking uh, elusive card. So far, the sets that I really wanted the premium parallel was Azalea. That's one of them. Uh, the second one that I really wanted was actually from Licorice Recoil. Unfortunately, I bought quite a number of boxes of those series and didn't manage to pull a premium parallel in any of those. So, I'm guessing, yeah, let's keep hunting. Maybe one day we can pull that premium parallel and hopefully it is on a series that I really, really enjoy. C+. I mean, for Rebirth 4, you to even pull an SP is already so rare, so... Uh, Having an SP in in itself is already considered a very very good opening, especially if you don't get a lot of boxes. Oh, this time we got a lot of parallel R and parallel double rare. I'm not sure if that's the normal ratio. I thought usually we get a lot more parallel common and uncommon, but that's nice. I'm not complaining for sure. Really a very nice change. Yeah, with two boxes we don't really get uh, the odds are really actually against us, but still. Uh, looking at the character design now, I am a bit curious to how the series will develop. So definitely I'm going to catch this. Oh, okay. So this is the SFR rarity that we talked about. So it comes in this very, very nice aqua, uh, aqua kind of color. That's nice. So do they at least we pull two very interesting cards? Well, it's not an SP or a premium parallel, but still, uh, coming away with an alternate pool is always very good for any opening. So double rare, and that's it. Okay, so let's look at our pools today. Uh, hmm, so it's either two or three triple rare per box. These are the triple rare we got today. And apart from that, uh, we did have this very nice looking, I would guess this stands for Shangri-La Frontier Rare, with this very nice uh, aqua foiling around the cut edge. And of course, apart from that, we also managed to pull an NBP today, which is a very nice looking foil partner cut. So yeah, for those of you who have watched the series, uh, do let me know uh, how you find the series. Uh, personally, I think I'm going to watch it next because I think the character design looks very interesting to me. Uh, the plot already hooked me in. Uh, looking at the character design from this set opening, I think definitely it is a interesting series I should catch. So anyway, for those of you who are new to the channel, in case you do not know, we open all the new stuff for Rebirth for you, White Source, and Build Divide. And the best way to see all those new openings is to make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Remember to turn on all notifications so that you will be notified as soon as a new video drops. And don't forget to also subscribe and comment below to have a chance to enter our monthly giveaway. So take care, stay safe, and we will see you all next time. Bye now!